Hey my YouTube friends, I'm Tom Cheswick. Welcome back for another quick edit. Today we're going to use the power of AI using On One Photo Raw 2023. We're going to use their AI adaptive presets. And it's a way to quickly get from the image to the left to the image on the right. Let's take a look on how to do this. So we're in the browse mode. We're just going to take it into edit. First step, since it's a raw image, is to assign a camera profile by default on one standard selected, but that's not always the best choice. Looking through these, I really like how camera standard looks. It gives a nice contrast range. Image is already looking pretty good. We went from here to here just by applying a camera profile. Next, let's go into the AI adaptive presets. We'll go down to the tab in the lower left corner. We'll go into the AI adaptive presets. Go down to outdoor portraits. And if we just hover over, it will give us a live update. And right there, a little kick goes a long way. And that's adding quite a bit. It is we go into effects, it added some dynamic contrast, it did a tone enhancer, and it did um, some portrait retouching. So again, before, after, with a click of the button. So let's see what else we really need to do with this image. We'll come in, we can do a little retouching using our retouch tools. And right there, that's looking great. We'll hit done. Using the scroll wheel to move in and out. Let's see, we could do just a touch more even. Same retouch. And that one I'm just going to sample from there and hit done. This is looking awesome. Let's look at an overview. We went from here to here. One thing I'd like to try is that front column is a little bright. So let's go into local. By default, it's negative one exposure, which will work great for us. Let's pick gradient mask bug and put that right there again before after wow she just pops off the page in just a few clicks that is amazing let's hit done all right and a pro tip now that we have the image just how we want we use the AI adaptive presets, all we have to do is highlight any other images we want to add that effect to. Go down to sync. Hit apply. And wow, we went from here to here. It does reset gradient mass. So if we want that in, we do have to go into edit select the gradient bug and add that back and we're done and just like that we were able to use the AI adaptive presets syncing it from one image to the next image and having fantastic results with a click of the mouse I'm Tom Cheswick and thanks again for joining me today be sure to like and subscribe so you'll be notified of the next video. Take care.